to Mind Over Murder. The rules are simple. Each scoring area contains a variety of floating rings. The color of the ring denotes the type of object you need to throw it through in order to score a point. Vehicles go through blue, people through green, and the head of our very own Professor Genki through the pink ones. Score a point on every hoop within the time limit, and you win. Good, Good luck. luck. It's murder time, fun time. Welcome to Professor Genki's Mind Over Murder! Brought to you in part by everybody's favorite alien overlord, Sinyak! That's right, folks. The Maven of Mascot Mayhem has teamed up with the Conqueror of countless galaxies to create an all-new Genki experience. As folks at home know, by exploiting weaknesses in Zinyak's meticulously crafted simulation, our contestant has gained the power of telekinesis. But they will have to master the power of the mind to complete the challenges ahead of them today. I can now see why the professor was so eager to join forces with Zinyak. This should make for an interesting addition to the Genki family of games. Right you are, Bobby. So let's meet our contestant, the winner of Genki Bowl 7, and our favorite contestant, the President of the United States. Or whatever bits are still floating around in space, right, Zach? <laughs> too soon, Bobby. Too soon. Let's get to the action. So, Bobby, how do you think the addition of superpowers is going to affect the game? A submachine gun is a fine weapon, but nothing, nothing compares to the unlocked potential of the human animal. Super speed, super jump, and moving things around with the power of your mind? I'm expecting high action and lots of flailing bodies. <laughs> Makes you wish you had superpowers, doesn't it, Bobby? I'm just happy not to be stuck in a fat full of foul-smelling nutrient pill, reliving my worst fears for all of eternity. <laughs> you and me both, Bobby. You and me both. Can you imagine Genki and Zinyak flying across the galaxy together, conquering worlds and abducting the biggest badasses each planet has to offer, and pitting them against each other in a superpowered fight to the death? Bobby, are you feeling all right? Or they could team up against an army of mascots, flaming mascots, armed with rocket launchers and RPGs. Jeez, that's a fine dream, Bobby, but... As you know, the world's biggest badass was locked away years ago. True, but we're not allowed to talk about that. <laughs> no, we're not, Bobby. Excellent job by our contestant!
was shocked when the boss picked you to be the vice president, but you ended up working out. That's only vaguely insulting. Look, you sound just like Julius Little. Putting a guy who betrayed... God, ran all the cyber terrorism for the syndicate back in Steelport. Now he's Asha's right hand man in MI6. I just hope we can trust him like she does. So are you giving me a gun, or am I saving Matt with polite conversation? Well, you don't have superpowers either. Oh, great. Now there's a bunch of nonsense on the screen. It's a command prompt. Just give me a second. Here we go again. Damn it! The camera's screwed up. I just have to deal with it. Nothing I can't handle, sugar. You gonna give me a hand or what? I'm trying, but I'm not used to the code they're using. Give me a second. Who else wants a piece of this? Could it be as simple as 3D? Kinsey, no! Oops. Sorry. Finger slipped. There should be three data towers controlling the security to Matt's prison. Nothing fancy. Just blow them up, right? Well, I wouldn't want you to go outside your comfort zone. I must say, I am amused at this attempt to save a man who tried to kill you once. <laughs> eh, what's a little attempt at murder between friends? All the same, what is it you hope to accomplish? Mr. Miller is beyond your help. Sweetie, you should know by now. No one ever tells me what I can or can't do. <laughs> Very well. Your futile attempts do entertain me, after all. Miss Kensington is rather astute for a human. Yeah, well, big towers controlling security on a linear path. Not very creative for your superior intelligence. Oh, touche. That's two. One more to go. Thanks a lot, Kinsey. For what? For this not being a calamity like last time. God, are you still mad about that? I said I was sorry. Honey, it's not like you ate the last lemon cake. Last time we were here, you turned me into a fucking toilet. Take the thank you and be done with it. I don't think it should be that easy for you. He's made the tower invulnerable. Hang on, I'll find a workaround.
and I am impressed by Miss Kensington. Though this attempt is as futile as the life of most humans. Oh, look, an alien with a superiority complex. Surprising. Though this sentiment comes from more than just the Zin, my dear. Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day. To the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Brief candle, life's but a walking shadow. A poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage, and then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Honey, you a whole lot. It's a quote from Macbeth. No one cares. face yet more failures at saving those closest to you. Your race will live on borrowed time and will, through your violent arrogance, wind up extinct. Walk through the red door, however, and I will release the humans whom I have collected. I will give them amnesty and even a ship from my fleet to do with as they see fit. However, in choosing this door, you will willingly submit yourself to execution. This is the moment where you can prove to be the savior of humanity or its absolute destroyer. Where am I? This is your life as it led you to this point. All your past violence, crimes and losses on display to remind you of one simple fact. reason why. Ours is but to do or die. Make your choice. Where am I? This is your life as it led you to this. Wait, is that mad? Trapped in technology he doesn't understand, in a cyber world he can't control. It's okay, Matt. You'll be out soon. Without Miss Kensington. Very doubtful.
A rock and a gas giant? This is but a glimpse of what I have conquered. Ah, yes. I'm quite proud of this one. I give up. What is it? Terror, as personified by your literary culture. A dead pirate with a black parrot? It's a raven. Why does a pirate have a raven? <sighs> Is this the island that pirate came from? Must you continue to display your plebeian intelligence? Don't you get all upset because your story doesn't make a damn bit of sense. I tire of this. Deal with her on your own. Ta-ta. Wait, wait, what are you... Matt, I hope you're ready to see the real world. like the idea of us sitting around. Shouldn't we be picking up Matt? The kid could be in trouble. Keith, you gotta relax. The guy's an MI6 agent, for God's sake. He can take care of himself. You needed help getting out, and you're the commander-in-chief. That's a really good point. Why didn't we think of this earlier? Oh, I did. I'm just not a big fan of Matt. Kinsey, come on! Can't I get some payback? Got a little lost. Big deal. Oh, he got a little dead. Who knows? Oh, he's fine. He's probably having the time of his life exploring Zinyak's ship. I need a stable environment to work from inside the simulation. There's several things you can do around Brixton so I can set it up. Also, I should be able to create an upgrade with this. Sure, why not? I need help inserting a virus into the simulation, among other things. Do this, and I will reward you. Do not do this, and you will get nothing. Understand? Yeah, I got it. All right, Sid, here's the deal. You need me to ravage you. Uh, maybe? Don't worry. I'm fully equipped to pleasure. Sorry, but my mechanical body needs time to cool down first.
I know you want to, but I don't. enjoy upsetting Zinya. Show him you are better than his people at his favorite game show. Security breached. Lockdown in 30 seconds.
Security breach.
Welcome back, Genki fans, to another round of telekinetic tomfoolery, where it truly is mind over murder. Right you are, Zach. And here with us again today is that unstoppable force and the leader of the free world, the president of the United States. And what a perfect contestant for the show, Bobby. So far, this is proving to be the perfect combination. An undefeated human with the abilities of an alien meeting the challenges of the mad professor and entertaining everyone in the galaxy. What more could our audience want? Other than freedom from alien oppression, the reconstruction of their home planet, and football on the television every Sunday, I can't think of a thing. Now, Bobby, you know we're not supposed to speak ill of our most benevolent overlord, Zinyak. Uh, I'm sure Zinyak had a good reason for blowing up the Earth like he did. Uh, a good reason. A, a very good reason, no doubt. Let's check out how our contestant is doing, shall we? So how do you think things are going for our contestant, Zach? Uh, in this match, uh, or in life in general? I was thinking the first, but now that you mention it, let's talk about the second. Well, I imagine it's not easy for them knowing that they're responsible for the deaths of billions of people through their hubris and what will ultimately be an unsuccessful bid to overtake Zinyak. My thoughts exactly. Bringing about the near extinction of the human race is a heavy load to carry. It sure is. I feel dirty, Zach. We're just the bonds of a megalomaniacal alien overlord, Bobby. It's not our fault. Let's get back to the action. Some championship level mind over murder, Bobby. I agree. The president sure is giving the folks at home one heck of a show. And I know Professor Genki is loving it. Indeed. Everybody's favorite man cat enjoys nothing more than murder, mutilation, and mascots. He does love alliteration, Bobby. I thought that was assonance. Assonance is when the words begin with vowels. Really? Well, you'll learn something new every day. by this contestant, Zach. I feel fortunate to see this action firsthand. How about you? I... I just... I... Uh, I, I said, how uh, about you, Zach? Uh, Zach? I... I can't do this! I can't do this anymore, Bobby! Keep it together, Zach. Think you upset our most benevolent uh, overlord. I miss my wife, Bobby. So do I, Zach. So do I. Anything else, Bobby? Inserting my virus would be most effective. Protect the area while I do this. Oh, 
better take me seriously. The Zin here have been looking for me. Eliminate them. An overload of the system will scramble some of their code. Completing one of the race programs will accomplish this.
hopefully let him run to Talladega. Good. Your reward is waiting. Come claim it. When I discovered the wonder of the path was easier to see. There ain't no other but the one I love. Won't you come deliver? You accomplished what I asked you to do, so here is your reward. Now, continue with this task if you value doing everything you can in this world. Guess I don't have a choice. Here's the deal. You need me to ravage you. Uh, maybe? Don't worry. I'm fully equipped to pleasure you. Getting to work faster. Security breached. Lockdown. In 30 seconds.
big deal out of nothing. This is a great opportunity for him to build character. Kinsey, this is not the time for a teachable moment. If we don't help Matt, he will die. Fine, take this. You're beautiful. Thanks. I was talking to the robot. It's power armor. Same thing. Not really. A robot is an automaton, whereas power... Don't ruin this key.
villains have to be able to do some serious damage, right? Oh, um, I do have time to get them working, so... For real? I found you power armor, because of this missing stuff. Can't get through this door. Can't see time for you to do your magic. Ugh. Oh my god, this is the real world. I can't just waggle my fingers and... Oh, look, Kinsey, you weave worlds like a goddess of the brush. Oh, gee. You have any bright ideas on how to get this through the door? Or am I just using brute force? Brute force works. See what this baby can do. You take care of what's there, and I'll make sure they don't alert the others. I was rescued. Oh, you wouldn't believe what they have. But I didn't realize they had robots. Thank you. It's nice to have someone not jibber jabbering about it being power on all the time. So, not a robot. What kind of firepower does that make? Kinsey said the guns are missing. Stun. Huh. Typical. Give me a moment to find the parts. Defend me 
Dean, I'll set you up. This will be much different than any other weapon you're used to. Honey, it's a gun. I get it. It's more than just a gun. Now we're talking. Keith, 
gave it to you? Maybe I'll need a big club. I don't even think I'm dancing it! Inside. Is this what being a sociopath feels like? Yeah. Hey, remember that big ship you were asking about? But I just blew up a capital ship. You'd think someone could at least give me a high five. You need to take a look at this. A play? Why would Zaniac want to build one of those? We're in deep space. It has to be another prison. Whose idea of hell is being trapped on an aeroplane? Me, Sean, and... Oh my god. John is alive! Boss, Johnny's dead. Who else would be stuck in a plane? Sean D? It was a life-defining moment for her. It's the only thing that makes sense. You're wrong. I think she's making a lot of sense. She's wrong! Find out where this is. We're getting my best friend back. Yeah. 